Hey, what's up everyone? So Dragon Ball Super episode 128. This episode starts off where we last left off with Goku and Vegeta pretty much defeated. Goku is on the floor, he is unable to move. Vegeta is badly beaten. He's able to stand, but he's all jacked up. So he faces Jiren and he's like, oh, they start having a back and forth and pretty much Vegeta's like, I got my pride and you know, I'm gonna keep going. And he tries powering up, or he tries going Super Saiyan. <laughs> and there's this, this really funny scene, or I thought it was funny. The rocks and everything start lip, lifting off the floor, and, you know, energy starts swirling around him. And all of a sudden, it just kind of turns off, and the rocks fall back down. <laughs> I thought it was just hilarious. So, Vegeta's so weak, he can't even go Super Saiyan, or he apparently can't even power up. So... He's like, whatever, you know, I don't need to go Super Saiyan, I don't need to transform, I can still take Jiren. So he starts attacking Jiren, you know, punching, attacking, but he really can't do anything. He's in his basic form, which is nothing to Jiren. I mean, let's face it, Jiren is OP as hell. You know, you at least gotta be Super Saiyan Blue to stand any kind of a chance. So Vegeta just starts getting jacked up. You know, Jiren starts blocking his attacks, just, and he easily just kind of uppercuts him and sends him right off the arena and before Vegeta can you know falls off and gets eliminated he barely clings onto a rock and he's barely holding on he's badly hurt you know it, it hurts his hands it looks like he's so weak and he can barely hold on to this floating rock and he starts thinking to himself or he starts having flashbacks of Kaba at first so he starts thinking about Kaba the first time he met him in the the other tournament with uh, the other universe and the first time he's met him and he's like, oh, you gotta have your Saiyan pride. And then he starts remembering in this tournament where he's like, I'm gonna use the Super Dragon Balls to revive you and your universe if I win. And then he starts thinking about his family, you know, first Boma, you know, his wife, and then Boma and Trunks, his family, and, you know, lastly, his newborn daughter. And this gives him the strength to get back up. So he gets back up and he faces Jiren and Jiren's just like, well, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this, you know, your pride is going to take you far. Because that's what's making him get back up. The love of his family, but also his Saiyan pride. So he goes back into the attack, he starts fighting Jiren. But again, he's in his base form. So Jiren again starts just knocking him around and beating him around. And just beating him almost to death. Like, Vegeta's almost dead at this point. <laughs> you know, he gets a big swollen eye. He's all jacked up. And eventually... We get to the point where uh, Jiren powers up a, a red fist, you know, his red lava energy or fire energy. And again, he punches Vegeta really hard. It knocks him off the arena. Uh, but again, before he gets eliminated, this time he doesn't catch himself. It looks like his boots get stuck on a rock. And while he's hanging there, it, it kind of looks like he's knocked out. And he starts thinking about Boma, or he gets a vision of Boma. And she pretty much tells him, like, is this it? Are you going to give up? get back up and Vegeta's just he wakes up and he's like uh, can't you let me rest a little bit longer so he gets up back again and he goes on the attack again so you know <laughs> third time's the charm he starts attacking Jiren and again Jiren easily blocks his attacks and he just starts beating him around again and eventually he grabs his fist and Jiren just kind of punches him really hard and Vegeta gets thrown back and this time we know he's about to be eliminated because the screen turns all dark you know the the screen turns bluish and everything and he just starts falling and there's nothing there to stop him from falling. So Vegeta's about to get eliminated. But before he gets eliminated, he powers up a little energy ball and he just tosses it. Which is also kind of funny. It just kind of slowly goes. And it goes all the way to Goku and it powers him up. But Vegeta is eliminated. You know, he was one of the last four comp uh, competitors. Uh, one of the last three in Universe 7. And he put up a good fight, but he was so weak, you know, he couldn't even go Super Saiyan. And he's gone, you know, good job Vegeta, you, you put up a good fight, but you were eliminated. And you gave Universe 7 their last chance at victory. So the energy ball hits Goku, and it gives him enough energy that he gets back up. And we see Vegeta land in the disqualification uh, seats or whatever. And currently gives him a Sensu Beam, because he was really right there, he was at Death's Door, which is... He, again, he put up a good fight. Vegeta, like I said, he was about to die, so... <laughs> good job, Vegeta. It kind of sucked that you couldn't put in a little bit more of a fight at the end, but 
it is how it is. At the end of the day, Dragon Ball was kind of the Goku show, which is kind of sucky to say, but it's true. I like Vegeta. I would have liked to see him win, but, you know, Goku is the main character. He's going to get the win, or he's going to go the distance at least. So Goku powers up to Super Saiyan Blue thanks to Vegeta's energy, and he goes on an attack. So he starts attacking Jiren, but Jiren makes quick work of him. You know, uh, Goku uses instant transmission to get right behind him, but Jiren just punches punches him right in the stomach, you know, knocks the spit out of him, and he lands into a pile of rocks, and he loses the Super Saiyan blue form. Like, he can't hold that form anymore. He's, he's just out of energy. But, you know, it's Goku. He's not going to give up. So he starts attacking Jiren in his base form, kind of like Vegeta did, and he starts getting his ass kicked, just like Vegeta did. <laughs> Again, it's his, it's his base form. He can't do anything against Jiren. So Jiren's just beating the crap out of him. And it gets to the point where Jiren pretty much just, just beats the crap out of him until he gets to the edge of the arena or edge of this little rock. And he powers up one of his red fists again. And he's about to knock Goku off because that's all it's going to take. One punch to knock him off. And everyone's kind of freaking out, you know. Supreme Kai's is like, this is it. We lost. It's over. But Goku starts having, or Vegeta yells out Kakarot, and it starts, or Goku starts thinking about his teammates. He starts remembering his teammates and all the sacrifices they kind of went through to get to this point, to get them to, you know, the final battle. He remembers 17 sacrifice, Gohan, you know, pretty much everyone, even Frieza, who is still in this, even though they want us to think he's not in this tournament <laughs> or he got eliminated. He's still there, he's gonna play a part of the end, I'm telling you. But, uh, and he remembers Vegeta, you know, falling off, even though it just happened a few minutes ago, and him giving his energy. So right before uh, Jiren punches Goku off, it, it kind of looks like he teleports, or maybe he moves real fast, it's really hard to tell. Uh, but he ends up right behind Jiren, facing away from him, just kind of looking down. And Jiren kind of turns around, and all of a sudden, Goku goes Ultra Instinct, or I guess Imperfect Ultra Instinct, because spoilers... There's a perfect Ultra Instinct, which Goku's probably going to go or transform into uh, next week. But Jiren goes right in attack. He starts punching Goku, or at least trying to. But Goku is, you know, he's easily just dodging all the punches like nothing. And then, bam, he just punches Jiren right in his stomach. And, like, Jiren spits out a bunch of spit, and his eyes just open up wide. <laughs> Flipping crazy, you know. We haven't seen Jiren take that bad of a hit ever. And it, it kind of shocks everyone. Everyone's like, man, we weren't expecting this. And, of course, the uni Universe of Seven is happy. They're like, yeah, go, 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 go. And uh, Jiren's Universe is unhappy. But this is pretty much where the episode ends. We have Goku in his imperfect Ultra Instinct form staring down Jiren. And boom, end of the episode. You know, wait until next week. Or do we have an episode next week? I believe we do. For the, you know, the final or the next episode which is going to be Goku probably getting into his uh, perfect in uh, Ultra Instinct form. Overall, I gotta say, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, I like the Vegeta stuff, even though he got beaten pretty easily, but it kind of makes sense because he was so badly beat up. It wouldn't make sense if you powered up Super Saiyan Blue again and put up uh, an amazing fight. <laughs> it's just it's just not going to happen at this point, let's be honest. But good job, Vegeta. I think they gave him a good, you know, defeat. Uh, again... Uh, I think I said it last time, Vegeta almost self-destructed. He's really come along afar or from where he has been from a, a villain, you know, because he's, he's having all these flashbacks of his family and everything like that, which is something not even Goku would have, you know. He thinks about his teammates and everything, but you never really see him think about his loved ones, you know, how, oh, I love Chi-Chi or I love Goten and I love Gohan, my family. You never see that crap from Goku. He don't give a shit about his family. He's like the worst dad in the world and the worst husband, let's be honest. <laughs> but no, you know, good job. I thought that was pretty cool. And I like his fight. You know, he kept getting knocked down and kept getting back up. You know, showing Vegeta and his same pride, which is, it's awesome. I love seeing that, you know, never give up attitude. And he was pretty much almost dead, you know, like a couple more punches and he probably would have died, but it was still cool. Um, and then Goku going Ultra Instinct freaking love it i love the ultra instinct music i love the look of it i can't wait until next week like i said i believe it's gonna uh, he's gonna become a perfect ultra instinct goku or i don't think that's the name but he's gonna perfect ultra instinct and i because uh earlier today they released um stuff in i think coral coral i can't remember 
showing the perfect Ultra Instinct form, which is pretty much just Goku and his hair is silver, completely silver, I believe. Looks pretty cool. I, I like it. <laughs> but I believe that's what's going to happen next week, so it's going to be really exciting. Um, we only have three more episodes until the, until the end of the series, so it's probably only two more episodes of this fight, Goku versus Jiren. Or maybe just an uh, episode and a half, who knows. And then the series is going to end, which is going to suck, but it's it's been a good ride, and I'm sure they're going to come back with more later. They're probably just taking a good, long, long break, <laughs> which they kind of deserve. They've been going almost nonstop. 130, uh, but yeah, 31 episodes. Freaking crazy, crazy stuff. <laughs> but overall, like I said, I really enjoyed that episode. It was fantastic. If you guys have watched it, what did you think? You know, did you think Vegeta deserved better? Did you think he was screwed over? Uh, or did you think he put up a good fight and that was a good way for him to get eliminated? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.